At this point, I am actually preparing the stereo so that I can listen to the one minute intervals and the 15 second of rest intervals for the uh, interval training. So I'm getting ready and after the five countdown, I will be doing the burpees, the traditional burpees. And I use a small towel so that I can press on the floor with my hands on it. As you can see, my legs are pushed back immediately and after the pushback, there's a push up uh, from the chest and a jump uh, on the legs so that I can work out the whole body. This is a very complete exercise and as you can see, it will last for more or less one minute. It will be a very intensive exercise and I generally tend to use it for the beginning exercises because later on it becomes too exhaustive. As, I, as you can see, uh, everything is working from the hips to the legs to the feet to the hands to the arms, the neck, basically everything that uh, is uh, found in the body, every single uh, muscle basically of the big muscles are used in this exercise. Also notice I am using weights for the feet and for the arms so that I can exert more effort. And then 15 seconds of rest. In this case, I will use a small barbell so that I can use a, a lateral uh, sit-ups. I'm, I'm sorry, lateral uh, benches. Uh, as you can see, this is a very uh, elastic type of exercise. From one side to the other, you're stretching the hamstrings and the hips. And also you are exerting a lot of effort in the shoulders and in the back. The weight is very little, so most of all the exercise, uh, I'm using the barbell so that I can maintain a, uh, a correct position and a straight uh, column as much as I can. This is a stretching and a hamstring and quadricep type of exercise. And I do it uh, for as long as one minute. I'm also working the shoulders a bit and the hips. As you can see, I'm not using a lot of weight because uh, this can be a little bit too stressing for the back. But then again, if you can do a lot more weight, you can use it if you know your body better than me. So, 15 seconds of rest and I am going to use the roller to use roll-ups and work the arms and the lower abdominals, the back, and the uh, obliques and extensors. These are very intensive exercises, and, and one after the other you will feel very exhausted from all the body, not only just one side. As you can see, the arms are working a lot, the deltoids, lower abdominals, the pelvis, and the back, the lower back. Also the glutes. Um, this is a very intensive exercise and the roller is very useful for uh, also for extending because it allows the extension of the abdominals and it will uh, define the abdominal muscles a little more. It's a line that you tend to see vertically at the sides of the abdominals. And the idea is to breathe in when you're going forward and breathe out when you're going backwards. Once again, the break is arrived and I will break for a little while while I stand up and this time I will use uh, another exercise. Always trying to vary as much as I can. This is the table maker. I'll turn it opposite hand to toe and this time the weight that I have put on my feet and my arms are having a little more effect on this type of exercise. After one uh, touch of the hand to the opposite toe, try to always bring the hips back to a plain position so that you are more or less like a table. That's why it's called a table maker. It's also called a reverse or supine um, plank. It's a very intensive e exercise even though it doesn't look like one because you have to maintain the uh, balance 
and most importantly the back is ver uh, very exerted in this part and the arms and the legs of course because of the weight and the uh, hips are and the obliques are exerted in this exercise another break for 15 seconds uh, breathe profoundly and then again thinking about the next exercise and this exercise is actually simple is the extension of the glutes to the back this is most of all a glute type of exercise so it's not a full body exercise but it's because it's done within the other exercise within the uh, session of the high intensity interval training then you will feel that the rest of the body is still lamenting the previous exercise so your shoulders will still hurt and your uh, your hips and your neck and most of all the feet you will feel a lot of stress because of the previous exercise this one is very intense on the glutes as you can see uh, the right glute the right glute is the one that is working the most but the left one is also working a lot um, just by maintaining the right leg up now I stand up and once again in the break I try to breathe as much as I can and bring the ball the ballistic the um, the um, the ball, I, I, in this case, I don't remember how it is called. It's, it's used in athletics. Uh, and I'm doing this abdominal type of exercise from the side to the middle and to the opposite side, back to the middle and to the opposite side, and so on. And using the ball, the metal ball, as a counterweight. You are working, uh, this is a full body exercise, you're working the legs, the feet. Uh, the arms, the hands, the neck, the pelvis, the abdominals. Of course, most of all the abdominals are worked out because uh, it's intended to be a lower abdominal intensive exercise. Also the chest because you are trying to maintain the ball on uh, your front, in front of your chest. It's a very intensive exercises, exercise, especially within the rest of the exercises because uh, you're, you have worked out previous muscles and now you're uh, concentrating on other muscles but still, still the other ones are stressed. The break has arrived and I am going to use another exercise always related to the legs and the abdominal. I'm using a soft ball so that I can uh, press on the, on the floor and using a frog-like jump I am moving forward and using uh, the legs to arrive at where the ball is in front of me. Now, a more advanced type of exercise is pushing even further with the, the arms, but uh, that would be more intensive on the abdominals, and it's also risky because you're make, you would be making more effort with the back. So I chose not to uh, expose my back too much, so I try to use it on small hoops instead of long ones but still this is a very intensive exercise for the legs and i use it for uh, improving my uh, quadriceps and hamstrings because it's very good for the legs as i have already said and the, the arms are worked out as well so after this break i will try to exert other ex other muscles so that the exercise is complete the session is complete in its working of muscles. Now, this is the complement of the other glute exercise that I was doing of a leg lift on the back, this time on the left side. So it will be very intensive on the left glute, but the right glute will also work out. I do this separately, so I don't do one glute after the other exercise, because obviously the opposite leg will be too stressed and will not be as intensive as I would like if if they were done separately like I have done right now. 
as you can see, um, this is not a full body exercise, but my body, my whole body feels uh, exhausted. So even though I'm not moving much, the, the rest of the muscles, I still feel exhausted in a very general sense. And so I continue pushing up and now basically I am almost finished. I only am lacking two more uh, exercises and this is a static exercise. It's called the high plank with stretched arms to the front so that I can work out the back, but most of all the abdominals. Here I have not the correct position until this point where I stop pushing a little more the hips forward so that I can actually have a straight uh, back along with my legs. And this way I can exert more my abdominals and work the lower abdominals and upper abdominals as well. The arms are, are also worked out and the legs. This is a very complete exercise, even though I'm not moving. The more time passes, the more intense it feels, because uh, the, the the force, the gravity force, is actually exerting a lot of power in the hips, so that's why you see me tumbling uh, up and down on my hips, because that's the effort that I keep doing in order to maintain balance. It's very intensive, even though it doesn't it doesn't seem like it. So that's the penultimate exercise, and this is the last one. Even though I haven't uh, lifted weights, I leave it for the last because it's the most intensive and difficult. And even though it doesn't seem like it, I'm actually very exhausted at that point. I'm lifting uh, more or less 60 kilograms. So deadlifts are good for the back and for the glutes. So this exercise complements the rest. I'm also exerting a lot of power on the on the forearm and the hand because lifting that uh, with my bare hands it might seem not uh, intensive, but it actually is very intensive on the forearms. You have to uh, maintain the barbell in balance, and as you can see, I lose balance every now and then because of the exhaustion. But I am very bearing with it. And little by little, I have to touch the weight on the table platform so that I can grab a little bit more impulse. And there you go. I have finished the session. And it has been intensive. But I have finally finished. And I feel exhausted. But this is the session that I do every day. Some people do more rounds, but less time a week. See you later.